beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed and I will seek you in the morning I will learn to walk in your ways For step by step you're leading us And we will follow you all of our days We will follow you For step by step You led us We have followed you And step by step You lead us And we will follow you Hallelujah. Jesus said that he was the light of the world and he left us with a promise that no man who walked with him will walk in darkness. Lord, we acknowledge your light. We acknowledge your wisdom. I join your people to say thank you. Thank you for everything you have done. We will never, never be able to thank you enough for lives changed. Lord, if there is anything that has happened through my life, if there is anything that has happened through this ministry, we owe it all up to you. And we're not ashamed to say thank you tonight. Receive all the praise. This is what it's all about. And Lord, we decree and declare that we are committed to following you. I'm committed to following you. That you will speak to us and cause that we hear you, even when it does not make sense. Cause us to trust you cause us to believe you may we never be ahead of you oh god may we always allow you to lead in the name of jesus and lord we renew once again as a ministry our covenant of partnership that oh god we remain followers pursuers seekers of your presence seekers of your ways you made your ways known to moses and Lord, we declare in the name of your Son that we will follow. It doesn't matter, we will follow. Regardless of how comfortable or otherwise it is, we will follow you. In the name of Jesus. So Father, we dedicate this moment, very precious moment to you. I thank you for your people, the workers in this ministry, the leaders in this ministry all those connected to this ministry the financial partners who have lifted our hands through their seats and sacrifices those who have labored in secret and in open to see your glory come 
I pray, oh God, that you bless them. Let no man go unrewarded. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you. Spiritual intelligence. I didn't meet the testimonies, but I heard everyone rejoicing, so I want to believe they were powerful testimonies. Let me just say something before we get to the word. Um, thank you so much for not only believing in the ministry, for believing in me and what God is doing in my life. I know that you love me. I know that you believe me. You believe in the anointing. Thank you so much for your partnership. But then I just want to say two things very quickly. Number one, I want you to trust the things you are learning here. Praise the Lord. Um, while we were on our way back from the trip, my mind was on the meeting and I was just thinking, there are very anointed men and women of God in this place who I would have easily just called and said, look, I'm so tired, I'm worn out, please can I rest? Have a crusade tomorrow and say, look, let me just rest. Bless the people of God. By God's grace, we're connected to very anointed and blessed people that love me and believe in what God is doing. And I could easily just call them and say, look, come and be a mighty blessing to the people of God. I don't do these things by myself just because I am not replaceable. That's not the idea. There is a picture that the Lord has shown me about what he wants us to become are we together now every teaching listen carefully every truth that you hear being shared here was not emotionally fabricated to keep ministry going i wish you understand what goes in to bring every word here i preach an average of two to four messages every week it is hard work to prepare a message very hard work are we together aside from the prayers the preparation the physical constraint the research etc i do these things because there is something god is making us become please i want to encourage everyone don't just believe in me and love me and trust me which i greatly appreciate but submit yourself to the things you are learning these keys will make you become something there is an end some of us by the grace of god are already tasting of this mold we're already seeing how much our lives are becoming some of us are just catching up and others have tested of this for a while but i want to encourage you every series every teaching just follow them the way they are don't try to tamper with any equation you are given be that childlike and watch something happen in your life are we together i think it's quite arrogant for anyone to not have result and criticize anybody who has it archbishop benson idahosa said um, you only have a right to criticize a person when you can do twice what he has done once our society is full of people who believe they know what they are doing and you see the trouble about this pride is that the nonsense will not show now after years of wasting your time you will find out that the bible calls it shadow boxing but the apostle said we have not taught you cunningly devised fables the things you are learning here are not my ideas they are older than me the truths that come here represent the wisdom of god you hear me sing that song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river there are people who have crossed this river we are not trying to invent something new there's nothing about the anointing that is new there's nothing about generational impact that is new so i want to encourage us pay attention to these things don't get so familiar and then don't listen no 
open up your heart don't just write don't just say amen don't just fall down don't just roll believe it receive it in your heart and be diligent be diligent to apply it listen i give you one guarantee let me tell you this and i've been saying this for many years you will never never fail if you listen to what i'm telling you believe me there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of god and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance please i'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and Do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see It's your spirit that opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. Last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence. Please listen. It is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit. You hear me repeat some of these things again and again. Your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done. But dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives the disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what Christ has done is proof that the work of Christ by itself will not bring you results are we together there must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed we took one last week which was the spirituality of life that was the first intelligence that the lord began to walk in our minds and we investigated this very thoroughly life is spiritual how many of you were blessed last week yeah it is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that i believe that the lord wants to burn in our heart number two god is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual 
that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign second god is almighty deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 media let's walk together deuteronomy 10 17 you will never be able to obey god listen carefully you will never be able to do the giant things that the lord desires from you fulfill purpose an assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of god you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that god is not mighty he is all mighty deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't i'll just read alone one to read for the lord your god is god of gods a mighty and an awesome god who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says nor take it bribe it says for the lord your god is what god of i've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all surpassing excellency so he says this lord your god that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this God that we serve is not just the best option of the many. He is the only option available. There are so many people who cannot obey God today. There are so many people who cannot believe God. So many pastors, businessmen, family people are unable to receive the instructions of God. Are unable to take steps of faith not because they cannot read their bibles they do not know how mighty and how great god is one of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that god is mighty mighty savior he can move the mountains listen to this song my god is mighty to save he is mighty to say forever. He's the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. There is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of. No. I have caught a revelation of how mighty he is. The reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient. They do not know that he is mighty. Listen, look at this. Come, Sam. If, if I tell Sam, I will buy you a car tomorrow, he will not just laugh. The first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me, my capacity financially, based on whatever information he has at his disposal. Is that true? So Sam will look at me. If Sam does not know me, he will go and ask someone who knows me is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will if he receives a testimony of my ability some will now stand and say i can believe you is that true if i if i say right now everyone in koinonia just be listening to me welfare department go and buy minerals just pass it around you will never look and say apostle don't deceive us how much is minerals are we together so it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that I am able. Now, if I say everybody just sit down, we're going to pass car keys around. You will say amen. But what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine. So when God says, I will bless you, your understanding of him will judge what he has said. And you say, Lord, I trust you, but it's well. I, you have a track record of fooling men. God is almighty so god can speak to you and say son do this 
do that let me tell you something god never gives you instructions based on your ability he speaks to you as though he's talking to himself so don't be surprised to hear how how challenging his instructions will come when god speaks to you he speaks to himself so he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him are we together it's up to you by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful that was the testimony of abraham the bible says abraham although he was an hundred years he counted god faithful and so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief one day god will stand up and say son it's time to build a big cathedral son it's time to do this i would be stupid to stand and say god don't don't disappoint me no no i have made promises to people as a man and i've seen how they just rejoiced oh i will give you 10 naira i will help you to pay your school fees and they jump i've not given them any money didn't give them any check they just started jumping around what if i change my mind you don't think i will so you are happy our unbelief is proof we do not know god is almighty so when he told you you will marry you are still asking him question lord can't you just give me date and let two of us rest <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper oh god when when do you know do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith worry believe me when i tell you this it's an uncomfortable truth worry is a sign of lack of faith no when he's in charge when you are in charge with him there is no reason no reason no reason this is the revelation that is responsible for confidence when you see people move around it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able looking at the great things that god has done today ENI is not six years it's just koinonia that is six years the meeting here but even at this it is still a humbling experience watching the things that god has done by his grace seeing the many things seeing his word come to pass do you believe him do you truly believe god don't tell me you believe god until you know that he is mighty not just that he's mighty he's willing to hold your hands when a man is willing to help you and you know that person has capacity to help you you trust him the word trust is from the word bata is best described pastor alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired he's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here it's called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did god ever tell you he's tired of holding you did god ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him god is not moses the keeper of israel the bible says he neither sleeps what kind of a being is that you don't sleep nor slumber the bible says there is no searching of his understanding there's too much unbelief there are very few people that believe god you see it in their lives although they claim they trust him but the, the 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 way we act shows we don't trust him i believe him that's the song he's able he's able he's able to bless you he's able to keep you he's able to bring his word to pass in your life god is almighty he's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it no 
he didn't store the power somewhere else he's not signing like a check like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer no he is almighty no man voted him into power listen he doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it the bible says once have i spoken twice have you heard uh-huh help me that all 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 he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth the power for favor the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to God know this listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me I thank God I've taught you about the gift of men I've taught you about the ministry of men but God cursed the eye the day I will leave God to put my eye in a mortal man believing that he's the one who will help me look in my little life i have seen the inconsistencies of men it is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man no sir no sir no sir i judge him faithful i can tell you i want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say pastor alpha you offended me i will punish you i won't help you again that's a man for you i can say i want to help you but me too i was expecting help from some from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of god he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible listen i'm speaking to someone here you better believe god and say lord if you spoke to me about your my destiny let's go i believe i like joshua and caleb he said let us go up at once look at david who is this uncircumcised philistine the, 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 this all this fear about our lives fear about the future fear about ministry will i be rich will i marry will i have children how many will my pregnancy stay will i die will a plane crash will they can't jam me all those things are resolved hear me will crowds come for my meeting what if they get angry one day and don't like me again those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty god is I sing that song again savior he can move the mountains my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave savior talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of eni the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds 
hoping the word will work. Let me tell you something, Ejimi. Come, come. Let me tease this guy small. I love him. He's my friend. You see, when we started out, let me tell you something. That time, it wasn't like a crowd like this. There were few people. Now, I remember clearly, I told them that when we went to the crusade ground, we were going to meet all kinds of people. Blind, sick, and all of that. And I think he thought we were joking. And we had already planned that. That time, everybody was a minister. It wasn't like you are in welfare, you don't... Mm -mm. So when it was time to pray, you would just choose at random. You didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person. Are we together now? And I remember very clearly, Ejimi then and Jakes. When I started saying all those things, Ejimi got troubled one time and he said, Come on, let's, let's really find out. Are we going to, how, you know, trying to find out, I hope this anointing works. I hope those devils are going to be cast out. I remember... I, I hope you can remember. I remember one of the, the first day of the crusade. Two of our ladies, they now went to meet a woman. You remember the story? They went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb. You know, they came with all the zeal, had received impartation. We had fasted our lives. I mean, we're looking like skeletons. And then the ladies now laid hands. You know, oh God, you spoke to Joshua Selman. And I'm telling you, that woman was just looking like this. No miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tight people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tied so yes <laughs> a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face Listen, we didn't look like much then, but we believed him. The third day of the crusade, the deaf and dumb woman spoke, her ears opened. Remember, the first day nothing happened, it was so embarrassing, so embarrassing for the ladies. They came and met me, I said, don't worry, try it, do it again, your faith. And then on the third day, I just got angry. I said, okay, you people have tried. Look, this woman, let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here. See, you know why I'm telling you this and why I called him? It was faith. I remember while we were preparing for the crusade, he took his computer, his personal computer. He was the only one who had a computer then, not a laptop, a big screen computer. He took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money. And supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew god was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastor's conference it was a wonderful time people sowed some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god everybody shout but god thank you jimmy i love you god bless you but god when you bring god into the equation the calculation changes you have to know that i had fainted the bible says but god but god the psalmist said if the lord had not been our help now may israel say if the lord had not been our help listen every other thing should happen to you but god i'm prophesying to somebody the shame should come but god the interceptor every other thing should come but god the trouble should come but god when you add god to the equation the calculation changes god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that you should repent one of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results 
responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men is absolute trust in God based on an understanding of who he is he says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might the revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that I know I do not have the rent but God is faithful I don't know how it will happen but one thing I know is this God will help me he said I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth apostle my father is dead I understand but God is still alive apostle my mother is dead my sisters have vowed that because I became a Christian no sponsor apostle there is there is no helper no there is a helper He's the one who can help men. Look, when God decides to come into your life and help you, you will be scared at the result. There is something called the help of men. We are products. Ebenezer, thus far, has the Lord helped. He says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. There are many people who remove God out of the equation of their lives. So they look at you and say, but I'm more intelligent than you. Why is your life making progress? Because I, I kept, I didn't add God. I put him in front of me. There are many arrogant people believing they, they do every calculation by themselves. Then they say, God, where are you? Just come and join the queue. Some of us have learned. We put God in front and we foolishly follow. Foolishly follow. If he moves this way, wherever we are, we turn back and say, God, let's keep going. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what will happen? I shall fear no evil. Why? Not because I'm masculine. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says, thou preparest a table for me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Do you trust God? Do you believe God? It's a little teaching, but let me tell you something. Your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in God. No matter how hardworking you are, a day will come the only person you can cry to. I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all I want you're everything Lord. you're all have ever needed you're all Wait, give me you. I hope I'm not today. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Hallelujah. The only guarantee to your journey of life. Is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak I don't trust men no I don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God. I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me, let no man claim he can give me. No, sir. No, sir. 
if god cannot lift this ministry i will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe no he said which of you by worrying can add one cubit one cubit one strand of hair is god blessing us everybody say god is almighty, god is almighty. in my life say it again god is almighty in my life lift your voice in one minute and say lord i permit you to show your might i'm tired of doubting you i'm restraining your hand i'm restraining your hand ah, there is more that you can do there is more There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable, hey, dependable God. sit down but in one minute I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say it my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you no my God can handle you pray my God can handle you the shame and reproach. I may not be able to do anything about it, but my God can handle you. The stagnation and delay, the lack of results and lack of progress. My God can handle you. I do not fear. My God can handle you. You know that song, Sam? 
in this place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. Psalms 147 verse 5 quickly I'm shaking unbelief in your life shaking unbelief in your life God is a mighty God he's the almighty not an almighty the almighty no options no one above him no one above him thank you Sam he says great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our Lord and of great power he says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him. I believe him. You know, we when Ogun we came in, um, left this morning, and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down, I kept seeing different camps, prayer camps belonging to different ministries, and I thought for a while. One day, all of them were in their rooms, and God came to them and said, "I will make you great. Do you believe me?" And they were stupid enough to say yes some could not speak english but they said yes mm. had no connection some no education but they said yes it is when the results happen people start admiring you no the mission is follow me if you can have that rugged faith to follow him you will return with a testimony please i want you to burn this every time challenges overwhelm you every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do meditate on the might the might of god i like angel michael when they started fighting with lucifer over the body of moses this is what he said he said i will not bring any railing accusation against you but this is my verdict the lord i invoke a power greater than me the lord You've been trying to fight many battles on your own. It will soon kill you. There are some battles that will eat you up on your own. There are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves. I'm brilliant. I'm not daft. You will soon die. The, the, the reality of the economy will swallow you up. You better humble yourself and say, Lord, lead me. I'm not ashamed to declare that I do not know if you don't lead me. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5. 6 says, and lean not on your own understanding. Right? It says, in all your ways, verse 6 now, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. 7 says, be not wise in your own eyes. It says, fear the Lord and turn away, depart. All this, do you know why many people don't trust God? This macho man, bold face thing that they want to do to life listen it's good to be bold but we make our boast in the lord when you remove him out of the question you are boasting and you must defend yourself indeed we make our boast all day long the psalmist says your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper 
your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak English your confidence is not because you think you look good there is one mighty strong strong mighty you threaten me he will answer you mm. you will hear my voice in that equation he will echo and when God speaks everything if you speak to me it's only me that will respond to you but when God speaks everything will answer everything please tap into this understanding I'm giving you spiritual intelligence don't ever say they are basic leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house show me how you will ever build a ministry show me how you will ever build a business it will it will so shock you take God away that is a, a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted but bring him into the equation and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys he says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome God you are you're an awesome awesome what an awesome God you are You're an awesome Number three Ready? The third key Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling god's word in his life man will always have a role to play i'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of but it controls manifestation between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass you have a role Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt. Uh -huh, listen. Diligently hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord. Thy God. To observe. Pay attention. Then number two. To do. All his commandments. Which I commanded this day. That the Lord thy God will do what? Set thee. On high above all nations of the earth. Verse two. 
and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shalt hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God it didn't say if God speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by God no I believe in the sovereignty of God there are things that are written there is how God can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if I'm poor it's the will of God if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of God no 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 the will of God is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear I know the thoughts that I think towards you Jeremiah 29 11 thoughts of peace and not of evil not of evil not of evil not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means if my life is not bringing me a future and an expected end I know that something is wrong I can't sit down stupidly say no this this has to be God no 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 I know his ways it's not a mystery I know there are challenges I know there is a fullness of affliction I know there are seasons but I also know that the times are in the hands of God he said until the word of the Lord came to him the word of the Lord tried him right but when that word came he prevailed over it in the dealings of God with man you don't suffer forever no sir understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking hallelujah if the membership of koinonia begins to reduce I won't sit down and say it's the will of God he's driving wrong people that's nonsense we know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved all men there's no such thing as the crowd does not matter it does the ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes when you understand your partnership you will know what is demonic you will know what is a process you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind there are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be will be unfortunately it's what you don't like that will be are we together everybody hates me they are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck I'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the Lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this do and you will see the hand of God everyone say I have a role say it loud I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it again I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it one last time I always have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny never allow anybody listen never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen no sir even science refuses that even science refuses that nothing moves by itself right yeah the first law of mechanics science people a body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if I live this year and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day God wants to change I know my God he will arise you know your God but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you 
God will deliver me. You people should just keep watching. No. There is what you must do. Good master, what shall I do to be saved? That's why the man was rich. What shall I do? He knew he had a role to play. Not oh God save me. That's what the other guy said on the cross. We are here. It's true. We are thieves. But what did you even say? And Jesus looked at him. The other one said, look, we are seen as Lord. We take responsibility. Say you, you will be with me this day in paradise. The other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant. I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility. I, I detest irresponsibility of any kind, especially spiritual irresponsibility. If my life will rise, it's up to God in partnership with my cooperation. Still on this point, I want you to write this down. Are you getting blessed tonight? Just listen to what I'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change. Write this down. Still on that point. Three. Your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding. Your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding. In as much as it is important to take action, that action must be based on knowledge and understanding. Not emotions, not suggestions, not guessing. You see, the thing about God is he clarifies what role you have to play. Moses, stretch forth your rod. It is a Moses, just do whatever you want to do. I'm just there. No, stretch forth your rod. Jericho, Joshua, tell the people to go around Jericho. Specific instruction. Once, every one of the six days. And on the seventh day, they go seven times. After that, together with the priest, they raise a shout. Specific role. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. We look at two scriptures. So many people are attempting to cooperate with God. But they are doing it in ignorance. Now when you, when you walk in ignorance. You alienate yourself from the possibilities that are, that are contained in God. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's look at it. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's turn it from here for time's sake. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom then it says and with all thy getting do what get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it Wisdom tells you to cook. Understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients. Wisdom tells you you have a great destiny. Understanding tells you the path to take. That's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. There are similar roles but they are not the same. A light to your path. Direction. A lamp to your feet. Guidance. A light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction I'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when I tell you let's walk together and we get to a place I say okay move with me that's guidance the Word of God both guides and directs thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so God shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone God with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick 
and you are saying in the name of Jesus be healed but you think he's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus be healed be anointed the power of God will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything I receive shout Jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody is just looking at you like a rock I say you are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of God on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have result is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> Bible says Jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring Jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the Jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience tithing does not mean you love god tithing just means you are obedient because an exact figure was given to you so I begin to study it. I see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed and then light breaks out. And now I package my tithe with understanding. So I come and while I'm singing, I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice, people get blessed. I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies. I go and begin to study. What is it about music and worship? And I begin to find out, ah, this is how it works now on the strength of that understanding when i lift a song i'm lifting that song from an understanding that understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of god to flow through that song and you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding never do things because people are doing it spend time to seek knowledge and understanding then you take an enlightened step take an enlightened step Everybody is doing business to prosper. You too, you go and do it. No. What is the purpose of it? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible talks about those who are alienated. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Through ignorance. Through ignorance. Are we together? yeah there are people who although they are supposed to be walking in certain realities they exempted themselves through ignorance being alienated from the life of god and the bible says through ignorance i am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where i do not know i'm not too proud to learn I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action but is it based on insight is it based on revelation you saw people anointing themselves you went to go and buy Goya oil and you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and the spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus, Lord, 
take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that god has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom i watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well i watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry i watch business people break the laws that bring success in business i watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results i watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it you see enlightenment is very powerful because when you are moving in darkness you don't even know and so you keep trying this is not working but i fasted 30 days i thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day i give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of god as though god owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of god is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today, I saw the predictability of the results of the people. You know, most of those fathers of faith came from the same background. The same background. The Apostolic Church, Aladura, CAC, that background. Regardless of what they have now. So certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is. Crowds, space they got a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how i study i write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. It's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study follow them the bible says who through faith and patience obtain not are obtaining they have obtained the promise hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, honestly, Holy Ghost fire, and these demons you are hearing, Holy Ghost, you don't know what the fire of the Holy Ghost does, you don't even know whether it exists, you don't even know whether the blood of Jesus is there and what it should have, so you are just praying, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, blood of Jesus, it will never, I, I refuse to believe it, then you start crying, even you, you know you didn't believe what you said, because at the end you just start, stop praying and say, God, is this how you leave me? May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right 
when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say Can't, we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus, thank you. Can you play the guitar too for me, Binga? Just follow him and play. God wants to do something in this place. First John 5 19. It says, And we know that we are of god and then it says apologies for the projection issues i'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of god then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a a rug a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no 
the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enenche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to God and he says all these arrogant people I will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me I'm sharing with, I'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead somebody somewhere hates me enough to go so only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping only God knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of God so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen Judas one who was close to Jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me I don't mean to insult your civilization but I'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in Zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what I'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back ask Job Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters I can look at a life and know that this life is under attack I have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times i counsel them i say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle i can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but i'm tired of this woman i have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man i'm tired i've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together not one day of joy and she's planning to leave that guy by Jesus for sure a man prays for the arrival of a child and have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married not because the child did anything from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all I need to know is did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of God fail in Pastor Alpha's life? How can we make promise not become that thing? How can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life? That's the devil for you. Let me tell you something with Satan. He's a patient fellow. Don't take his patience as foolishness. 
he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now i know your life is under attack by your prayer life i see it you don't need a word of knowledge i know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you i see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you peter peter satan desired to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren i look at a man and know his life is under attack all doors of finance is closed then four children become sick in one day he's coming the thief cometh not but to steal you always see his signature when he comes he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden from nowhere you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again femi me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people I have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of God like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating I said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know 
when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and I, i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you cut a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you're being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how you would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia <sighs> who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords When you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its bank over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne, there is the cross. And you must know how to fight your way to victory. This is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us. This is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil i answer your prayer now yes he is yes he is i know his signature everything cannot go wrong at once something is wrong somewhere and so it is important you acknowledge it and then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance not what is the mystery of prosperity what why am i not getting a job no job no money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you're on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no balm that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry 
and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you do you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise the day you lock your door i'm telling you this i'm telling you this you lock your door and say i'm not going out until there is a change i'm blasting tongues the spirit of god you will feel your tongues changing you will know this is warfare prayer you may not know what you are saying your mind is not fruitful but at the point your spirit the anger of your situation is added to your prayer you are not laughing praying nonsense you are thinking of who is calling no you are praying because you know that you are breaking through and at a point joy mm -hmm, one of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you some hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how vicious you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of god brothers and sisters victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit it didn't just happen you sit down there and allow satan to keep blackmailing what you represent every time you want to bless people people say don't trust benga i'm still suspecting him don't you know there are spirits that plant deception you blast them out in prayer someone wants to marry you all of a sudden a stranger arises she does not know she's under the influence of a demon this lady did a and b and c last year no sir the moment he wants to bless you he wants to do business with you and a night before signing the contract what million somebody calls him and say who did i hear you are doing business with be careful you see that let me tell you there are spirits i told you life is spiritual you keep watching things happen in your life you will never rise beyond some levels there are some of you the moment you hold money finances everything will go haywire till it finishes when it finishes everything dies by itself it's an attack it's an attack There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i'm in this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family 
I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happened. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a herbalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen. Don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and herbalist to mind. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle. And you are smiling. You missed your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting, I'd been praying and practicing this principle, but I knew that it's like there was a resistance, a resistance. And that night, I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping. All of a sudden, I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land, and Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down, David Ipiome was sitting down close to him. Two men I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth, territorial wealth, and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project. I was standing on the stage, I could not stand very well, it was shaking. And afterwards, I came and Oedeko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet. When I dropped it, he said, No, there's still some more. I put my hand, I dropped everything, and he laid hands on me. Somebody took me to a room, I opened the room, and I saw dollars, I saw pounds, I saw nine. That was the beginning. When that happened, Koinonia exploded like a charm. There are mysteries. You don't have spiritual intelligence, you will never rise. Never rise. Some of you were this close to your breakthrough, but you did not know what you saw. You thought you had a dream. Only if you dance for 10 minutes, that would have been the end of that problem. But you did not know. Help those under the anointing. You are the universe. You are everyone on earth. You are the other. You are the other. Hallelujah. January this year. I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have the, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now, I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you walk in it and he told me Baba like you tell somebody in Yoruba go you can go I've opened the road brothers and sisters this is how this is what we call encounters you don't know it 
how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical two weeks he's still moving alive but he's dead he doesn't even know he's dead you see him and greet him how are you he's saying two weeks is my birthday and you laugh at him you killed him two weeks ago yet he's still walking and one day anything can kill him because he's already dead anything that's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit anything can prosper you it's not about what you do it's about something that has entered you already you are something about the operation of witchcraft there are only three ways witchcraft operates I will be teaching you next week and then I will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy. You were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around, no. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. Some things God is telling you, the season has come. Especially when it's, it is emphasized. Two is the number of emphasis. Three is a shorty, is a witness that God has decreed that it should happen. But it never happens. Never happens. Because there is no spiritual intelligence I don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory Miracle service is always finished before Friday. Koinonia is always finished before Friday. You don't come and finish Koinonia here. It's risky. Risky. You don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say, it's time to be healed. Foolishness. That's not, it doesn't happen that way. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Then it was possible for him to be slain physically. If he were not slain in the realm of the spirit, he couldn't be, be, be saved physically. It always happens first in the realm of the spirit. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I, I feel, I feel, I feel the air of some warfare prayers. We, we, I, I just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers. Listen. In the next five minutes, I know our time is up. But in the next five minutes, I release my faith with you and I want us to pray. We are going to force doors to open. You are not praying to edify your spirit. No. Every pending breakthrough. It has been declared. It's my season of trial. I have seen it in dreams. The Lord has confirmed it. I should be blessed. I'm not asking. I know it. It is a season. Pray, pray, Koinonia. It's a season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every strong
stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every hiding must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You overcome. You overcome. You overcome. You overcome. Listen, we are praying. There are miracles. There are miracles that should have happened. Stop asking whether it's the will of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I allow them to manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Pray. The visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of victory. I call you for the visions of victory. The visions of blessing. The visions of Listen, very quickly, two more prayer points and we're done. The Bible says, withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it. Say not to him, come today, come tomorrow. God has it now. Did you hear what I said? Now. I want you to lift your voice and say, now break through. Now break through. Now break through. Not next week. No. Not next miracle service. Now favor. Now favor. Now break through. Come on, Cornelia. Let God do Now anointed. Now anointed. Now grace. Pray, pray, now break through, now favor, 
stop bad news. I stop bad news. It's not a suggestion. It's not a negotiation. You have declared it's my year of trial. I stop bad news. Lift your voice and stop it. Lift your voice and stop it. Tired of bad news. Tired of disappointment. I stop it. I stop it. Shake it. Have respect, oh God, to the covenant. I stop bad news. Listen, never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Listen, if you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represent what God wants to happen in your life now and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance, the fire of vengeance, the fire of vengeance, the fire of vengeance, the fire of vengeance.
I decree and declare every power that closed your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies release lives release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take a time. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it in the name of Jesus upon everyone here behind Shadul. In the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now. Catch up now. Financially, catch up now. Spiritually, catch up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry, anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointments, I prophesy again, catch up now, catch up now. Listen, I don't know the chains that held your legs, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. May those chains break now. May those chains break now. I pray for you, this night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. God is a God of signs. God is a God of signs. My God, show your people signs. Signs of their victory. Signs of their breakthrough. This is how to receive your portion. Anything less than this, you are playing games. This is how you receive what belongs to you. The devil will not give it willingly. No. Whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from January 2017, in spite of the fact that God has declared, you clap for others. Hold on. I'm not just saying maybe a casual. There is no one here. Who has not seen the faithfulness of God but I'm saying there is nothing striking you cannot honestly say from January 1 till today 10th of March nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus except I be not sent of God in the name of Jesus according to the election of God's mercy and grace I prophesy to you in seven days from today in the name of the Lord God who called me Command breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Return with testimonies, strange breakthrough. Help that lady, strange breakthroughs. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be six by his grace we're not doing anything online leave all those things listen but i want to place a prophecy over tomorrow listen every time people celebrate birthdays they reenact what brought the birthday correct 
if a king is celebrating birthday he releases prisoners to prove he's a king i want to place a prophetic word Malatos i'm not speaking to you by faith i'm speaking to you by a covenant by a covenant i'm not asking you whether you believe me or not i'm just asking you to listen to me the lord that appeared to me the one who revealed to me that i saw a generation crying i saw men languishing the one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me i invoke the covenant of my altar that those scatter breast scatter i invoke the covenant of my altar oh god arise answer by the covenant i have with you tomorrow 11th march shake the nations change your people in the name of jesus i place my covenant with god upon your life let there be strange results tomorrow strange results tomorrow strange results tomorrow strange results tomorrow, strange results tomorrow. all over hear me all those connected to this grace all those connected to this ministry following online i'm prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow i declare it a day of strange miracles strange encounters strange miracles strange restoration strange impartation I declare an unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities, confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case, I want you, this is not by faith remember this is a covenant it is not i'm not just saying you are trying i'm not asking you whether you believe or not just do what i'm asking you to do use this 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened i declare it as the word of the lord i place the word of the lord upon this prophecy it must happen to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hands you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go there is just about two hours i declare if they enter tomorrow holding your destiny i stand and i command the earth to take their body i say this in the name of jesus anyone who will not let you go i say it again if they cross 12 midnight this night i command the earth to take their bodies Your hands and 
give you praise. We're out of time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep standing, everyone. We're out of time. But pay attention. This was worth it. I tell you, you will return with strange breakthroughs. Strange breakthroughs. I believe in the power of God but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough please listen listen take note of it in a way that is notable enough in a crowd like this my brothers and sisters please reason with me that in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world imagine that at the end of this service only three or four or five people are healed delivered or lifted by God's standard even by human standards you did a bad job so you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with God and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river Shabakataya. flow like a river so that in one hour someone who is probably standing I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow so let's use the overflow four right you're just standing at overflow four hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it we're here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a a, a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there mm. hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power mm. his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond 
by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your result it's important every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river I thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of God are not like the ways of men Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of God you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of god of non effect it can strangle the potency of god's word but tonight i agree with you and i know that there are people here who are determined that everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so that it will culminate to a tangible result let me tell you this i love jesus christ i love him with all my heart and i made a vow unto god that among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care wasting their time will not be part of it i made up my mind by god that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify no 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 you should come twice to grow you should come twice to learn you should come twice to know god but one encounter should be enough it's true one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow riding on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe 
apostle i don't even know the name of my situation i've gone to the hospital they have done everything jesus if he said he was just healer we would have found reason to be afraid later on but he says i am the resurrection and the life what is resurrection giving life to something that has no business having life resurrection resurrection i am he that was dead but now is alive apostle i came here with my cv is it that god cannot give me a job i've gone around looking for jobs again and again i've applied everywhere god should see my family what then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation what does it mean to be a blessing as a man of god does it mean to preach well does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation as important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually i conclude that this man is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real i testify i testify that your goodness is real and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did to sarah as he has spoken trust in the lord 
how do you trust in the lord take cognizance of his benefits be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust a testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that god is able take your eyes away i repeat take your eyes away Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight and focus. Apostle, they've prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent forth. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word to me, to you, to us. The word that lifts, the word for your ministry, the word for your life is going to be a quick walk. Some of you write from the communion. As you partake from the communion, you finish your own miracle service. You will just join others in rejoicing. It's true. You know, yesterday I observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results I don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a God in heaven, whatever I came with, I must leave it here tonight. Hmm. It is important. God is giving you understanding now. When I came into the house of the Lord, then understood I. The house of God is Bethel, not just a place of bread, but a place where the bread is broken. Two men met Jesus in M house and they began to discuss the Messiah and he was there with them but they could not see. And then when he broke bread, the Bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed. My assignment is to continue to study continually by the Spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget it doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power 
but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of men john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast go ahead and pray please inside outside lift your voices and pray are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Senekatabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Seneke Prashd. Endele Gabrande Zedika Shobragadabaladabash. Krato Zazigadabarunde Ketosh. Embrakato Zaleke Pradish. Shebradika Posh. Rakato Variadabaladabash. Rakatu in the skemeritash. Rakaparuda siadabala dadaba. He barando jele carusia dabala daba. Please keep praying. hallelujah john chapter 6 john chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 john chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead 
next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 i am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh not is like my flesh is my flesh which i give for the life of the world 52 and the jews therefore strove among themselves saying how can this man give us his flesh to eat 53 then jesus said unto them verily verily i say unto you except ye eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood ye have no life in you stop here just just go back just go back this is what he's saying that in the flesh of the son of man and in the blood of the son of man is his life that the life of the flesh is in the blood are we together now listen very carefully so that when you partake please keep that scripture when you partake of it with understanding the bible says that you are not just taking a wafer you are not just taking a drink but that you are you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of god next verse 54 whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had i told you the word there is not eternal life is the word so way it's not the longevity of the life but the quality of the life and i will raise him up on the last day 55 we're stopping at 56 for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed the last verse he that eateth my flesh this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him this is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one the same mystery in marriage the same mystery with the spirit of god so that by the mystery of partaking in the communion that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and god's body are we together now yes let me tell you what that means come look at this emeka come watch this if this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong his strength is her own too you understand that are you getting me not part of his strength his strength so if you say she's strong you are right are we together now this is very important now that means that when she's strong and he's weak her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this hallelujah i'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around it's simple enough for you to open you just here open the wafer and then the drink and please the moment you do do not litter the ground do not litter the ground i don't know what provision has been made for that but if no provision has been made whilst you take it provided you are not under the anointing just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up you can use the off the bowls or whatever you have to have them we're going to pray please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ. Please pray. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season, creating day and night. Turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. 
Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words brings in the evening. Please pray one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go round. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. He didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion representing all others that are not here I decree oh God that in a very strange way may your power flow through this in the name of Jesus let it bring miracles let it bring all kinds of deliverances in the name of Jesus whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of Jesus I declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen. Let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus. Let deliverances, let devils and demons begin to leave. Let doors begin to open. In the name of Jesus Christ. My flesh is meat indeed. We partake with understanding. We partake with understanding. Please make sure everybody, something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this. You will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion. Go ahead, take it with faith and watch the wonder-walking power, the wonder-walking power of Jesus, the wonder-walking power of Jesus. bring all those under the anointing out please bring them out quickly while we wait for the rest to finish please just bring them out quickly 
something is opening up in your spirit man my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Whoa. Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Shalaka paruda seketa. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life.
it says every tree that has not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of god was made manifest that he may destroy i decree in the name of jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the christ right now i decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd inside and outside everybody under any kind of bondage i decree be free now be free now i command judgment on strange spirits in the name of jesus the spirits of ancestry the workings of bloodlines and territories i come against you by the god of heaven where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty listen we are still praying please pay attention i'm praying now the lord is showing me families i'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression nothing moves in that family you can go to school it doesn't make any difference you can get a job it doesn't make any difference have a business it doesn't make any difference i stretch my hands where are those people inside and outside i declare right now the power of god is coming upon you it's time for your family to be released at the count of three one two three be free now be free now be free now i lose your family i set them free i set them free shamanda kaskabarakata embrekete kaparoto seteka zekete kete 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 zebaka proske baruza sia embrakata lakato zasia rakata he manda barando skabarikata surely there is an end the bible says surely there is an end even weeping endures only for a night i declare freedom on those families now i declare freedom don't be distracted just pay attention please you rise to a level and then you crash back it's a pattern that exists in families there's nothing wrong with rising keep rising but you plateau at a level and then you crash back I stretch my hands now this is what the Lord is showing me my God my God I decree and declare the spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame represented in anyone here the legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of Jesus I release such people right now be released in the name of Jesus be released in the name of Jesus overflow three please lift your hands the lord is showing me something happening in overflow three overflow three please lift your hands mighty god mighty god i see a lot of attacks serious attacks on overflow three i don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there i'm seeing a lot of attacks at the count of three overflow three I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there overflow three one two 
three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison, like the front of a prison. And I remember scripture says to open, to set at liberty them that are bound. There are people who are moving but are in prison. All sorts of prisons. Right now I decree and declare, even by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage I declare that those chains are loose now I declare that those chains are loose now and for all those in front here representing all those that I'm praying for I declare not only that the spirits leave you but that whatever they took from you as surely as the God of heaven lives, your families must testify of that restoration. Therefore, leave them now. Go, go. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus, release their families. Release their spiritual lives. Release their finances. Paradox is a hasaka paradoxia. Lembra geto scalaricias, hebras godash. Prakato barado zaziana katabaladash. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this row, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here, and I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the lord is showing me just this row i don't know what it is but god is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living god let it go let it go in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that situation it must let you go right now the lord is taking something out i still continue to see this vision god is taking something out of people's stomachs the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty I'm seeing the feet of a man and I'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what I see and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families. And I declare right now, according to that which the Lord has shown me, in the name of Jesus, that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position, right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now something is happening to people. I decree, I decree, and I declare. Let there be liberty now. Inside, outside, let there be liberty. Right now. Let there be liberty, liberty. I command progress to your life. Move forward. I push you by prophecy. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Make progress. I forbid stagnation. Move forward. Make progress. I don't know how to pray this prayer now those who are fine up here can return to their seats I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people you don't have to bring the people out 
I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy, you are holy, holy. Please, someone to join the PR can join the ushers, protocol can join the ushers. I want to pray. There is a grace for speed, there is an exact grace. Speed is not progress. No, no. There is a difference between progress and speed. I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life. If not that it happened, I know there is advancement and I know there is speed. But I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter. Truly, let me tell you, there is a real grace for speed. And when that grace comes on you, you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. Be sensitive, please. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month i know it works when you have this grace on your life you don't fear delay it makes no difference you will gain time within moments i decree and declare by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands inside everywhere overflow one two three online father i pray right now let the grace for speed at the count of three, come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed. Receive it. Receive it. It is not by might nor by power. But by the spirit of God. You can be picked.
step upon the wings of the spirit and do things that eyes have not seen that ears have not heard i pray it again those outside receive it those outside receive it i declare speed in the similitude of elijah you will run and you will overtake the chariots of ahab Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually. This woman you are seeing, as frail as she may look, but the hand of God will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of God with power. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray that the Spirit of God will perfect. Let there be a birthing, a birthing of the things that he has begun upon your life. A betting of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands I don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that God is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what I hear number two this speed that you see I prayed for is coming upon you I stretch my hands may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca please when you find the person i want to talk to her in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick Kai. This woman is outside. You are not inside. You are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head. The same with what is down on you. Confirm. Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because... Um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this. Just like that. Just out of someone. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I'll pray for you. Your name is Rebecca too? Please come. I will pray for you. I found the person I'm ministering to, but I'll pray for you. From where, madam? From where? From area C. Area C. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. What's wrong with your back? Back pain. This is what it's I'm seeing. True. You get it's up true, in the morning and, and then you feel a lot yes, of pain. Sometimes yes. you cannot even wash. Yes, yes. Number two, your chest too. Yes, it's true. Severe it's chest true. around the breast yes, region. Yes, yeah. it's true. The Lord is setting true, you free true. right now, yes, madam. Yes. In the name of Jesus, let it be over right now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. 
I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. I want to pray for you, madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God himself will bless you and not only bless you. Where are your children, madam? Huh? They're here. Your children are here? Yes. Where are they? Patient. Isaac. Patient and Isaac. This may be the last word, and then we have to pray for the sick. There's a lot. Patience and Isaac. Yeah. Now only no day here. Let me just pray for you. If, if you are the only one who can represent them, stand up, please, my friend. Mama, I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord Himself is bringing it so. A very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden. That the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me. Let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something. They will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach. I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one. Please hold on. There is a growth. There is a growth. There is a growth. This has been characterized by extremely painful. Your period is extremely painful. But more than that, there is a growth just around your abdominal area. Overflow one. You don't have to come out. The power of God is touching that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, in Jesus' name, by the Spirit of the living God, we declare your liberty complete total final in jesus name i pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick praying for the sick takes a lot of time our time is already gone i i bless god that there are a number of hands tonight now listen we believe in the power of god to touch people to lift people and most times you would notice in my external ministrations i don't have time to minister to people one by one but because this is a miracle service dedicated for that the lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city and it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of god extend to people we'll do it very fast um all of the overflows all of the overflows i would request that you just move those trusting god for healing particularly please i would request that you move to the front of your projector screen that's where you are going to be prayed for um the ones that spill over do i call that overflow five now i will just request you to be patient we are going to assign a person or two there to minister to you but overflow four three two one and right in here you are here you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the god of heaven to set you free you are here full of faith please stand up please stand up if you kneel there will not be space just come stand it doesn't matter you don't have to come in if you're outside just go to your overflow please hallelujah myself alongside the men and the women of god represented here will be praying for you look how many people are trusting god to touch them hallelujah now please you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak just let them minister to you 
if there is need to speak any words they will let you know praise the lord there are so many people this night and so we we'll do our best so we can gain time and just just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you praise the lord prayed for just be patient and allow the men of God minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here, let the men of God minister to you. If you are still being ministered, to just focus on the ministration. But then for all others, just stretch your hands towards me. And let's agree that these Egyptians we see today, that we will see no more. Please agree. Release your faith and believe we are praying. We may not be able to prophesy to you personally. We may not be able to give you a word of knowledge. But this is a representation of your heart, your pain, your desire, your expectation. The Bible says, and thine expectation shall not be cut short. Stretch your hands and let's agree. There is a God that answers prayers. is someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we're declaring as the church we're releasing an anointing the divine power of god upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Zakosh Kamaranda Kaparuza Zekataparia Katalakosia Zekes Kebranda Katopra Asada Katabala Dabaka Rekete Katabarada Bakato Barato Zaziana Kata Shkalabaranda Kaparuza Ziana Kata In the name of Jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people we decree and we declare Makratos kalambre de keparuza ziakata bradias ile pereto zaziakata baranda gadash kritos kalabarakata balada bush shalabaranda kapurus liketeketekete barada bash we decree and we declare manda prados kaziza hash kalabaranda kata arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy give your people testimonies in the name of jesus believers pray we are agreeing supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power Lord in the name of Jesus we declare supernatural walkings of miracles tonight we declare healing miracles we declare miracles of provisions we declare miracles of jobs we declare sentences of death are broken in the name of jesus we declare supernatural interception 
angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles, diverse walkings of miracles in the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles. By the divine power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. Diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on, always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions. People have lost visions in the body of Christ. We tell lies that we are seeing, but we are not seeing anything. Father, the eyes that see genuine visions, let there be a restoration. Let that mantle fall upon someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit, the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic in a new dimension. Who is this grace coming upon? Mabato Zabarakata Embreketeta Upon all flesh, he says, I will pour out my spirit. 
receive that anointing now in the name of Jesus I believe in miracles and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders I'm stretching my hands I'm seeing a dove this is what I'm seeing just like a bird hovering round in the name of Jesus Christ upon as many whose hearts are open father the anointing the real anointing for signs for wonders inside outside especially upon men and women of God I decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of Jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group I say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of Jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says doth not wisdom cry wisdom speaking says with me are he says by me kings reign and princes decree justice he says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness I declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas I want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um, run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the Lord that showed mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea, the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually I decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now i want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of god verbatim i declare 
that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness i believe there is a grace for wealth i believe it i believe there are principles for wealth i believe there are understandings that can bring resources but i believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that god has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus I believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it I decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping from assassination from accidents the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now i declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of jesus christ i command a sevenfold restoration i command a sevenfold restoration restoration of anointings of money of ideas of relationships of access of illumination in the name of Jesus I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders I declare by the power of the Spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the spirit in the name of jesus christ i will multiply them they will not be small i will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of jesus i decree and declare that power is broken over you now All those trusting God for jobs here yeah. you are trusting God you have agreed with God and said Lord said to me give me an honorable job I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business Father, the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth, I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value, the grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded, may that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every dying business here hear the word of the Lord come alive now in the name of Jesus everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus whether for you or for your loved ones we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary 
in the name that is above all names is called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman and keep that seed until it delivers may that grace and that power come upon you now we cause barrenness we cause impotency in the name of jesus whoever has what it takes to favor you the bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power i declare whoever has the power to support you the power to help lift you we compel them by the spirit to favor you in the name of jesus christ and i pray in the name of jesus we're rounding up the prayer and fasting many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually i declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of jesus every attack on your prayer life Shagapo sana kaparagados, reketele koto sobadia. Let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the grace to travel. Receive the grace to pray. Any evil and wicked company an association around your life you are not free till your association is free i declare to you you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear god i declare a separation between you and the wicked I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of jesus christ that the god of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man in the name of jesus christ it says therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but i pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. Let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life, we release them. Listen, listen. Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain. It returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place. Then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree, an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again 
and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayer in the name of jesus christ and I pray for all of those who have come from far. I agree with you. I release my faith. Whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting. I agree. The same way Moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face. Return with the grace to prove that you met God. Return with the testimonies that prove that you met God. Return with the signs, the wonders, the transformation, the illumination. Return with the evidences of an encounter. In the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize. But we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight. You will live to testify. Very quickly, please let's, let's settle down. Very quickly, please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone. There are people here. Please listen. Overflow one, two, three, four online. There are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight. And whilst you heard me teach, and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus. Jesus is not an idea. Jesus is not something and someone you can do without. I believe with all my heart that, and please prepare to clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three. If you are at the door, please shift. There are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying, Apostle, if you will make an altar call, I need Jesus. I need him desperately I need him truly there are others who are saying I love Jesus but for whatever reason I need a restoration and I need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside I'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first I'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two Apostle, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart hallelujah if there are anyone's coming just allow them to quickly come i appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision please mean it sincerely and truthfully lift your right hand and say after me believing that jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you 
that you are the son of God. Tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace. And I declare, please help them. And I declare that salvation is mine. New life is mine. From today till forever. Jesus is my savior, is my Lord, is my friend. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.